The land around Bassenthwaite is rich in wildlife and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the osprey's neighbours. The white-breasted barn owl is a quintessential icon of the British countryside. We voted it our favourite farmland bird and it came second in a poll to find Britain's national bird. We don't have the monopoly on it though. The barn owl is actually one of the most widespread birds in the world, being found on every continent except Antarctica. Here in the UK, it's gone by many different names. The white owl, the silver owl, the ghost owl, the screech owl, and my personal favourite, the hobgoblin owl. Presumably, some of these names are in reference to the interesting repertoire of calls that the barn owl possesses, ranging from blood-curdling screams through to hisses and snores, generally sounding just very otherworldly. The barn owl is a rodent specialist and does most of its hunting at night. As such, it has many adaptations that allow it to do this effectively. The barn owl's eyes are twice as sensitive to light than a human being's which allows them to see well in low light, particularly the movement of their prey. However, where this owl really excels is with its hearing. The barn owl is well known for its facial disc, which at rest gives it the appearance of a heart-shaped face. When on the hunt though, the bristly feathers in its face stand stiff and it resembles a satellite dish. It acts like a satellite dish too, catching the sound waves and directing them to its ears which are set on the side of its head just inside the edge of the facial disc. These ears are set at different heights on the barn owl's head which allow it to pinpoint the origin of the sound based on the way it hits each ear. So good is the barn owl's hearing that it is said to be able to hear the heartbeat of a mouse at 20 paces. Certainly, it possesses the most acute hearing ever tested by human technology. When on the hunt, the barn owl quarters low and slow, flying about three feet off the ground. They have a three foot wingspan and a body weight of around 350 grams. This large wing to low body weight ratio allows for this slow flight without them stalling in midair. Think of them as a feather duster with wings. Hunting on the wing, it is essential they remain undetected, and so they are equipped with some form of camouflage. On the back, they are buff brown with speckles that, that enables it to blend easily with the grasses over which it hunts. Their underside is a pale white, which acts to break up the silhouette when seen from below, much the same as with the osprey. Long legs, long toes and long talons all help the barn owl grasp its wriggly prey. Did you know that on average the barn owl eats four small mammals a night, which adds up to 1,460 small mammals a year? Another incredible feature of the barn owl is that it possesses silent flight. Now, most birds have a degree of waterproofing in their feathers, not so the barn owl. You see, waterproofing is noisy, You've all heard the rustle of a raincoat or the crack of a duck as it takes to the air. Well, the barn owl has sacrificed waterproofing in favour of stealth. They also have a comb-like structure on the leading edge of their wing feathers, which breaks up the air as it passes over it, again reducing noise. Of course, this lack of waterproofing comes at a price. Barn owls are extremely vulnerable to prolonged periods of bad weather and mortality rates can be high. Long wet summers spell disaster for a barn owl's breeding season, with adult birds struggling to feed themselves, let alone their youngsters. It's not all doom and gloom though. In good years, with lots of food available, they're able to raise as many as seven owlets in a brood and go on to have more than one brood in a year. Barn owls are monogamous, which means they pair for life, or at least the life of their partner. They're also not very territorial, which means the home range of a barn owl is likely to overlap with several other barn owls. It's fair to say that the barn owl has had it rough. As well as being vulnerable to weather, changing land management practices, an ever-increasing road network and a lack of available nest sites have all contributed to the decline in barn owl numbers something conservationists are working really hard to correct.
we can continue to enjoy our favourite farmland bird for many years to come. Thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to do something a little bit different this time, so if you did enjoy it, hit the subscribe button down below, click the notification bell and leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought. Till next time.